Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about how to embed a live form into a page or post of your WordPress site. And here we're going to start with one that we've finished already, just so you can see where we're going to end up, basically. So here for our business page, we have a customer survey form. And it starts out here with just a little bit of text that we use to introduce the form itself. And this down below, which you see called survey form, is actually an embedded form that we created inside of Google Docs. To create this form, you're going to have to have a Google Docs account. And that is where we're going to actually create this entire form that you see here, including questions with drop down choices. We also have a question that has radio buttons. A checklist, which allows us to check more than one item. And also text entry field and an email form and a submit button. And to create this form, we need to first go to Google Docs and click here on Create New and select form as the new item that we're going to create and this is how we're actually going to create our form basically one question at a time and to speed up the process I actually have a document that has all of the text already in it so that we can just go ahead and go through it very quickly so here we're going to give this form a name and if you want you can also add a little text description so that you can introduce kind of what the form is about what you want people to do and we have another question field down below which we're going to go ahead and put in some information for first so each question allows you to put in a little help text afterwards which helps to explain the question a little bit in case you feel that maybe it's not making very much sense to you. And then from the question type, there are several choices that are available to us. We have um, a text entry field. We have paragraph text, which is a larger text entry field. The ability to do multiple choice questions, check boxes, choose from a list, a scale, like a scale of say one to five, for example on a question, as well as a grid, which is a table basically that you can use. And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to do choose from list. And here what we would do is enter all the items we want to have in the list, and those will appear in the drop down. So of course I have those all ready to go. And click down here to create another line. And again, you'll have to forgive me if we're going a little fast here, but we want to get to the good part, which is how to embed this into our page. So we can click down below to add another line. And you can see that we can continue to just click and add options as we go. We can have as many as we want. We're going to stop here at four. We also have the option to make this a required question if we want, but we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. And just click on done. So here is our finished question and now we're ready to move on to the next question. You can see that down below we have it started for us already. All we need to do is go over here to this edit button, click on that, and that allows us to edit our form. Again we're going to go back to our source document and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the text for this particular question that we're asking here. For this type of form, what we're going to do is we're going to choose multiple choice, which means all the choices are put out before you and you get a little radio button, so you click on it to choose the one you want. Slightly different than a drop down because it lets you see all your choices at once, but creating the form itself is essentially the same. So we're going to go ahead and enter our choices that we want to have in this multiple choice form simply by filling in the list of items that we want to display. And we're going to go ahead and click on done because we're done with this. We're not going to make this required either. 
Now we'd like to ask a third question and to do that all you need to do is go up here to the top where it says add new item and from the drop down we get the same choices that we had before. Basically we're going to do checkboxes for our third question and for this one we're going to go ahead and paste in our text as well. Let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom here and we're going to click on done with this as well. We're done with this particular question. So here you can see with just three questions we're already starting to build our form. Now you do actually have the option of course with any of these entries by hovering over them to edit this. You can also duplicate it if you have a question that you started with and you just want to change a few things. And of course you can always delete it as well. And you'll notice that your cursor changes into a hand when you're here in this section so you can actually drag and drop these to rearrange their order inside the form and to save time we've actually completed this already as a as a regular form so we've also added a area for paragraph text as well as a text box here we're asking for the form takers email and once we're done with this we are presented with a couple of options you can see here that we have the option to email this form uh, under more actions however if we click on that you'll see that we have an option to embed this form and that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna bring up this little string of code that we're going to copy into our clipboard of our computer and once we're done with that, we already have a page that started for us here. So this is in WordPress, of course, and this is our customer survey form page. And you can see down below here that we've added just a little bit of text because we want to sort of introduce this form before we put it in here. And then once you're done with that, you just need to go down one more carriage return and create a blank space for yourself. And because this is computer code, we can't paste it into the visual editor so you'll need to go to the right hand tab here and what you will want to do is you'll want to select HTML this is how we insert code into our pages in WordPress so once we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to paste our code directly in here so here you can see our code and one thing that you're going to have to pay attention to is that chances are this is not the proper size for your page right out of the gate if you look here you can see that we have two settings we have a setting for width and we also have a setting for height and you're probably going to have to change these two settings a little bit to tweak the form and make sure that it works inside of your site for this particular site I happen to know that our width is 600 pixels and that's a good starting point for most websites because that's about the width of your content column and then for height we need to make up some of the difference because we took out about 150 pixels from the width portion so we're going to add that into the height just to make sure that this form is high enough without having to scroll and once we finish that let's go ahead and preview this and take a look at the form itself so we're going to click on preview and here you can see that indeed we have our customer survey page down below it is our form including a submit button but as simple as that we've basically added a custom form into our website and before we leave you actually we're going to take a look at our Google Docs for a second and you can see that we have our survey form that we created here this is one of the really nice things about the forms that you build inside of Google is that it actually creates a spreadsheet for you and this spreadsheet collects all of the answers for people who fill out the form and that includes a timestamp of when the form was filled out as well as all of the answers here in a nice spreadsheet form which makes it real easy for you to grab the data you need sort it in any way you want so you can imagine that this is a pretty powerful tool um, I hope that when you have the chance, you'll create some forms of your own and embed them into your website. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.